All right, welcome to our first video on HTML and CSS basics. And uh, we'll do a couple of videos here where we're going to build a PB and J web page. Um, build a simple peanut butter and jelly recipe or peanut butter and jam recipe web page. Okay, that'll be kind of our first little project that we can do together. And I encourage you to follow along with me as we do these videos. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll intro um, kind of the, the basic idea and get our project set up. Um, the main idea to understand first is when we make a web page, a web page is just a bunch of files. Right? There's an HTML file. Um, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext Markup Language. And it's basically the, the language that the web browser understands. Right? It reads this file and it reads this HTML stuff and it says, oh, that means there's going to be headings and paragraphs and images and links and all that stuff. So the HTML controls the content and structure of a web page. Then we usually have a CSS file that's more for the style of the web page. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. And then often there's images on a web page, right? So you store your images as part of your, your project folder. And those are the files that are part of your website. Now we're going to start with just local development. Um, maybe I should make a note of that actually. Local development. Um, we're just working on the local machine, right? The local files. These files aren't on a uh, like a, a domain, right? A hosting company that hosts our web page, so it's public to everybody. We're going to start just with local development, making our web pages on our local computer. All right. To work with these files, we're going to use something called Visual Studio Code, um, which is just a, it's an editor where you can edit files and it's a, an editor that's designed to work for web development okay making web pages um, there's lots of other editors out there this is just the one that I'm I'm recommending and that I'm going to be using okay so I actually just uninstalled Visual Studio Code from this computer so we're going to go to the website here and you can click on this link here I'll share these notes with you but you can click on here you can just search Visual Studio Code as well and just go to the home page here, great download for your operating system, and just click that and away we go. Okay, so VS Code, I'm just going to click the executable down here to go through the install process. And generally, right, read through this agreement and make sure you're good with everything. I read fast. Hit next. I'm just go with the default folder setting I would recommend. That should be fine. Sure, we'll just keep that default. Now here I do like to add this open with code to the file context menu. That means when we right click on a folder, it gives me the option to open with code. Okay, so I like to add those settings. You can do a desktop icon if you want. I usually don't though. And then it's good to go. Install. Okay, so this is a free install. Um, you can set it up on the computers uh, in, the, in the lab here at school or you can install it at your uh, home computer so that you can can use it there and we'll launch Visual Studio Code as well. And like I said, it's basically just like an editor, getting started new files, open files, open folders, all this good stuff, shut that down. And, and you know, we'll, we'll get back to this in a little bit. Let's go, let's go back to our notes here, right there. Okay, so that was easy. Install Visual Studio Code. We'll work with that a lot more. Um, now we're going to set up our project folder on the F drive. Okay, now every um, project you make, every web page you're going to make or, or app you're going to make should have its own folder. And all the files that are required for that app should go into that folder. And when you're working at school here, you want to save all your work to the F drive. The F drive is a school network drive and you can access that from any school computer. Um, it also gets backed up. Um, if you tried saving to just, you know, my documents on the local machine, uh, they often re-image the machines to fix things or reinstall stuff. So your work is not safe on the C drive. Please save it onto the, the F drive. That's where you want to go. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my Windows Explorer over here, or File Explorer it's called. And you can see here under this PC, there is my F drive. It should say your username here, okay, the F drive, and it should say your username. Now I've got a bunch of stuff on my F drive here. You should have less. Um, you just want to make a new folder. So you can go up to here and create a new folder and just call it um, CS10. Maybe add your, your name. So I'll just add your initials or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to say Veldkamp. Okay, so CS10 Veldkamp. And that's going to be our, our, our course folder. 
And then inside of this folder, I want to make another new folder. And I'm going to call this one pbmj hyphen webpr. Let's call it recipe. Recipe. Um, I recommend not doing spaces in your um, folder names and file names just because they often can cause issues with certain web development stuff. So just no, no spaces is good. Do hyphens instead or something like that or underscores. Okay, so this folder has nothing in it, but this is going to be our project folder that we want to open in Visual Studio Code. And we can do this in a number of ways. One way is we can right click on it and say open with code and it'll open up this folder in VS Code. Um, you can also just open VS Code and you can actually just drag this folder into the workspace area here and that should load the project folder right there. So you can see in the Explorer it shows the, the folder. Um, let's close it and let's try the right click and open with code. Again, it'll launch VS Code and open up that folder. You could also go file, open folder, and then navigate to your F drive, um, CS10, Veldcamp folder, PB and J recipe, right? Select the folder from there. Ta-da! Anyway, however you want to open it, too many options sometimes. I often do the, the right-click technique. Right-click, open with code. Okay, and uh, we'll end this video soon, I think, but let's just start by, by here. We have this um, icon here to do a new file. Here we can create a new folder. Um, so let's start with a new file. And again, I encourage you to program along with me, right? Um, one of your upcoming assignments is to modify this web page that we're going to be making. So you're going to want to code along with me to have this web page built. So we're going to call our first file index.html. Okay, this is where our, our structure and content is going to go, right? And then we'll make another file, style.css. And, and as long as these have the extension .html and .css, that kind of tells the computer what type of files they are. Um, but index is the default name that we should use for our home page. So whenever you have a single page website or a multi-page website with a home page, the home page should always be index.html. And then the CSS file we can call whatever we want, but style is just kind of a common style.css. And I'm also going to create a folder called img. And that's going to be where we're going to put any images into. Okay, I think we're only going to need one image for this simple website. But often you have more than one image, so it's good to put them into a folder just to group them together. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. That's a, a good place to, to get going here. We're going to work together to build a, a simple recipe web page. You understand, hopefully now, and, and we'll learn way more about this, but the idea that a web page is just a bunch of files, and we've created those files. If we go into the folder here now, you can see we've got those files here. Well, nothing in here, but we'll get there. Um, and uh, and we're just doing local development on this local machine here. We have, aren't publishing the web page. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, we got Visual Studio Code, which is going to be the editor we're going to work with this course. Um, it's one of the possible editors we could use. And we want to make sure we're saving stuff to the F drive. So you should have done this with me, right? You should have gone this PC, F drive, created your CS10 folder, and inside of there, our PB and J recipe folder with these files ready to go. Okay, that's good for this video. In the next one, we'll go over some of the settings with VS Code and, and start writing a little bit of HTML to get some content for our web page. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.